Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to, to delete a deposit in QuickBooks Desktop. I'll be using QuickBooks Premier, but the process is similar for QuickBooks Pro and QuickBooks Enterprise. So first, let's find the deposit that we want to delete. The easiest place to find that deposit will be in your check register. So in your banking section, let's go to your check register. Okay, so let's uh, scroll up here until we find a deposit. Okay, so let's use our deposit that's coming from our undeposited funds account. So the undeposited funds account, if you're not familiar with it, when you receive a check from your customer, uh, instead of depositing it directly into your bank account, you should show it as being deposited into your undeposited funds account. Within that account, you can then group checks together to make one deposit into your checking account. So uh, let's click on deposit here, double click on it, and that'll bring up the deposit screen. And so we can see on December 3rd, we deposited a check from Catherine, Catherine Morris for $11,054.19. So you'll notice there's no delete button around here, which I think is causing a lot of confusion. Uh, in order to actually delete it, you have to go up to edit. And then under edit, we can either delete the deposit or we can void the deposit. I personally prefer to avoid to void the deposit because it has the same effect as deleting it, um, except for there will be a paper trail that at least there used to be a transaction. But it's up to you. You can either delete the deposit or void the deposit. I'm going to void the deposit. Notice it sets the amount to zero. I can then save and close it. Okay, so now we can see in our check register uh, the amount has been set to zero. So let's go back here and now if we look in our record deposit screen this brings up all of our checks that are sitting in our undeposited funds account. We can now see that this check from Catherine Morris for 11,054 it is now sitting in our undeposited funds account. So obviously by deleting the deposit or voiding the deposit it basically undoes the transaction and so then the check is back in the undeposited funds account. So that's as easy as it is to delete or void a deposit in QuickBooks Desktop. Thank you.